All right, guys, we're ready for step four of our QRC Outlaw car build. We've got the rear axle in, we've got the front end assembled, and we're ready for brake lines and the master cylinder and things like that. So, uh, Brandon, what do we need uh, as far as tools go to get that going? Yeah, so next we're gonna put in the brake system. So to go over tools required, we'll use some pliers, a 7 16 wrench, two half inch wrenches, a 3 8 wrench, 3 16 Allen, and then we'll, you could either use liquid Teflon or Teflon tape will be just as simple. So uh, out of your kit, you'll have the your long brake line as well as your short front brake line, and then a master cylinder plug, the T that will go into the master cylinder, and then the straight brake fitting that'll go into the rear caliper as well as the hardware, and then we'll wrap it all up with some zip ties. All right, let's get this stuff going. All right, Brandon, so we got a little bit of bench building do, to do here before we uh, install this stuff. What do we got to do? All right, first we'll start with our master cylinder plug. We'll take some liquid Teflon or Teflon tape, whatever you have at home. We'll apply a little bit of it there. We'll place it into the top hole. We'll take our 316th Allen. Go ahead and tighten that up. And then we will take our T, more Teflon. Dab there, go into the bottom hole. And we'll take our 3 8 wrench, snug it up and point it, point it inward here. That way when we get to the car, we can route the brake lines like we want. So like so. And then we'll take our straight fitting, put some Teflon on it, and we'll go to the rear caliper of the car with a 7 16 wrench. And we'll go right here, we'll have our bleeder screw, and the left side we'll put our straight fitting for the brakes. All right. And if you're new to something like this, all this blue stuff, all this anodized aluminum, all this stuff is made in our fab shop across the parking lot. So if you're seeing this and wondering where we get all this stuff, it's all made right here in the factory, including the master cylinder, uh, the brake caliper, all that stuff. Our guy Bill over there does a great job. So we've got the prep work done and we're ready to run some brake lines. All right, next order business, getting that master cylinder onto the frame here. So Brandon's gonna show us how to do that. We'll take the master cylinder as well as, well as our hardware. We'll take those bolts, nuts and washers. We'll make our way to the car. Here's our master cylinder mount. Simply go through those two holes. We'll need our two half inch wrenches. And as you can see, that prep work we did earlier, that T fitting is already facing the direction that we need it to be. We'll simply just tighten this thing up until we're snug. Don't have to be overly aggressive. Tightness and not too loose either. Check that. And then now we'll need 7 16 wrench as well as our pliers, and we'll start putting the brake lines on. And we see quite a few uh, interesting ways to mount the, or not mount, but run the brake lines through these cars. But this is the way that Brandon does it on all the cars that come out of the shop. So this brake line will have a 90 degree end and a straight end. We'll take the 90 degree end and we'll attach it to this straight fitting on the rear caliper. And if you're somebody that's watching this as he tightens that up and you're wondering what size brake line that is, that is a 41 inch brake line there that will go to the master cylinder. And then the front one is a 25 inch brake line, just in case you were maybe needing a new brake line, you're watching this saying, I need one of those. And that's the one you'll be wanting there. So we'll snug that up and this is where the pliers come in handy. Don't be shy to get pliers on the, this end of the brake line. Hold that straight. Tighten that end up and then boom, nice and routed nicely that way. Go to our left front brake. We have two 90 ends, so either end is gonna work for you. We'll take this 90. I'm a geek for nice plumbing, so we'll tuck this nice and low on the frame like so. Run it up, and your left front brake caliper, that 90 degree right there, don't be shy. 
you can turn it some more. We'll straighten it up, line it up with that face of the spindle. And we'll take this brake line, like so. Run it on. Hold it in place, and we'll just snug it up. Nothing over overzealous on tightening, but don't leave it loose to where you can leak. And then a common, common mistake right here is that people can leave that, but these pliers will turn the brake lines until you get a nice clean look to where you are down like that. And then we'll tie up the brake lines with zip ties. All right, let's do that next. So here we go, the final product of uh, getting the brake lines down here. So you see we got the zip ties down all the way down this frame rail to keep them in place. And then one small zip tie right there in the frame, the actual rails where the axle hanger goes. And uh, Brandon, this looks fantastic. As you mentioned, you are really into the plumbing side of things to make sure it looks good. And um, you know, what are some of the issues that people run into with when it comes to doing this kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, really just do yourself a favor by you know straightening out your lines and make your car look nice by the time you complete it. You know, these brakes are all done in house. So really nice product and it'll really spice up your QRC car. So just, uh, you know, be sure you use liquid Teflon or Teflon tape when putting the fittings on. That way you don't get any leaks in your system and uh, straighten out your brake, brake lines. And then uh, by then you have a complete system, regard that there's no dot five brake fluid in the lines, but we'll go over that in a later video. All right, guys, that's step four. Thanks for watching.